it appears that lean technology companies are now launching their AI coding tools, which are remarkably extensive and impressive. Two such examples include GitHub's offering from Microsoft named GitHub Copilot Workspace and Amazon's recent release, Amazon Q. Let's dive into these developments. Firstly, we have GitHub Copilot Workspace, which is the advanced version of the original GitHub Copilot project, the pioneering AI coding assistant. Initially, it was impressive how you could begin typing a snippet of code and it would complete methods or even entire pages for you. Now, GitHub Copilot Workspace elevates this concept. You start by specifying your objective, whether it's addressing a GitHub issue or outlining a new feature, and it constructs the whole solution for you. This truly represents the next generation of AI coding assistants. So this is the blog post about it right here. They say in 2022, we launched GitHub Copilot as an autocomplete pair programmer and the editor boosting developer productivity by up to 55%. Now, one criticism of GitHub Copilot is that it encourages the reuse of code without thorough examination, which could be suboptimal or even buggy. As many users repeatedly rely on similar snippets, these imperfections are fed back into the model for training. This cycle might be lowering the overall median quality of code, which presents an intriguing point for consideration regarding the impact of AI on coding standards. Then in 2023, we released GitHub Copilot chat, which is essentially like chat GPT, but with code. Honestly, it's not very impressive. I've never used it. It feels like simply inputting your code base into chat GPT and asking questions about it. Moreover, it doesn't perform well and definitely isn't as powerful as GitHub Copilot's autocomplete feature. Now we have GitHub Copilot workspace developers can now brainstorm, plan, build, test, and run code in natural language this new task centric experience leverages different co-pilot powered agents from start to finish while giving developers full control over every step of the process this is essentially microsoft's version of Debian. all right let's look at how it works here we have a github issue titled create an ai player option accompanied by a brief description you can open this issue in the workspace where the ai then provides a more detailed specification for it from there, you can click the Generate Plan button. As you progress, it's possible to edit any part of the details as needed and add add elements to the specification. Once the plan is generated, you can simply click Implement and it will display the differences right there for you to review. So all we needed to do was outline what we wanted to build and then it was constructed, showcasing the changes through a user-friendly interface. It methodically accomplishes each specification listed in the issue or plan. Additionally, there's an option to open it in a live preview, allowing you to test everything before merging the code. Everything operates within this single environment, streamlining the process to the point where you can create the pull request and merge the code directly. Indeed, it's quite impressive. What's particularly interesting about GitHub Copilot is that it isn't intended to replace developers, but rather to augment them. I truly believe this serves its purpose. While developers still need to review the code and specifications, this tool can enable more people to contribute to code bases. As explicitly stated, it's designed to enhance, not replace developer creativity, making the creative process faster and easier than ever before. So it all begins with a task from there, we develop a comprehensive plan, which is then automatically constructed for us. We have the option to modify it before creating the code, which is entirely editable. Next, we test the code to see it in action. And finally, we can initiate a pull request for the code. So let me demonstrate how it works from start to finish with a video from the GitHub Copilot team. We'll watch this together. It's about two minutes long. Getting started with your work usually takes place looking at a project board and navigating to GitHub issues. Copilot Workspace brings your favourite AI assistant into a native dev environment designed for everyday tasks. For example, it can use the information in your GitHub issue along with references from your repository to build out a specification based on the current state and proposed state. And you can tailor the spec as you need, whether that's adding, editing or removing items. Once ready, you can progress from spec to plan, and the process feels familiar. 
with the ability to adjust the planners you need by creating, modifying or removing files and adjusting the expected tasks for each step. This leaves you in control, free to solve the higher level problems and build out your plan before getting into the finer details of writing code. Copilot Workspace then streams the suggested changes to our environment. Notice that we have a diff view to easily digest the changes and can easily make updates within the editor. But that's not all. At our fingertips, we have access to an integrated terminal, so we can run the tests in our workspace before committing our changes and creating a pull request. And what if you want to make use of advanced features like step-through debugging? No problem. Create a code space and pick up where you left off. When you raise your pull request with Copilot Workspace, it generates a description for you and automatically adds a link to your workspace, adding a little bit more context for the reviewer and supporting their code review workflow. And as it's a pull request, our usual checks trigger, including GitHub Action workflows and code scanning. Copilot Workspace leaves you in control, solving the higher level problems and iterating quickly over the solution. It's also mobile compatible, so you can do all of this from your mobile phone, which is pretty incredible to consider. You can code and contribute real code to a project from your phone from anywhere in the world. Next, we have Amazon Q, a generative AI powered assistant designed for businesses and developers, which is now generally available. I haven't experimented with it yet, but it represents Amazon's foray into developing their own large language model. Although specific details about the model aren't provided, it is available in four different versions, which I'll discuss shortly. So a little bit about it, Amazon Q not only generates highly accurate code, it also tests debugs and have multi-step planning and reasoning capabilities that can transform and implement new code generated from developer requests. Amazon Q also makes it easier for employees to get answers to questions across business data, such as company policies, ET tech. So again, there are four different use cases and we're going to examine each one. First up is Amazon Q developer which is very similar to what we just reviewed. Amazon Q assists developers and it professionals with all of their tasks from coding, testing, and upgrading applications to troubleshooting, performing security, scanning, and fixes, and optimizing AWS resources. Let's check out a quick demo video and I'll guide you through what we're seeing. First, we have Amazon Q Business, which is essentially just a large language model. For example, if you write a job posting, this is basically a prompt you can input into any large language model and it will generate a job posting. It's not overly impressive. Now, what really interests me is Amazon Q developer. You can ask it questions and what we're seeing here involves transforming code. It's actually converting code into Java 8, for example. It might not seem as impressive as GitHub Copilot's workspace, but it's pretty cool. It appears to dynamically generate that interface to facilitate upgrades, and now it's performing that upgrade. Now, we're looking at Amazon Q and Amazon QuickSight. By the way, QuickSight is simply a business intelligence tool, which means you can dump a bunch of your business data into it and analyze it with ease. I believe this is a really underappreciated use case, especially for businesses that typically require data analysts or data scientists to handle this work. But now you can essentially just describe the types of metrics you want to see and Amazon QuickSight integrated with Amazon Q will compile it all for you. So here we go build a story explaining profitability trends. You can be very abstract like that. And it compiles an entire report complete with graphs and everything. That's super impressive. And look at all these suggestions for different metrics you can run all generated by AI are very, very cool indeed. Then they have Amazon Q apps, which says it enables employees to use natural language to securely build their own generative AI applications. And it's all from the company's data. Amazon Q is really positioned to be a robust business product. Employees simply describe the type of app they want using natural language and Q apps will quickly generate an app that accomplishes their desired task. Let's take a look at this quick example, build an app that takes a role title and onboarding plan structure weekly 30, 60, 90 days, and optionally a new hire's name, it should output a summary of the role guidelines for the given role. So it's essentially using AI to build really simple applications for use within the work environment. 
you generate these applications, and then they can be reused multiple times, which is quite cool. I've not really seen this approach elsewhere. It's quite neat. And that's all for Amazon Q. I haven't tested it myself, but it looks pretty cool, so I might go ahead and try it out. So if you like this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching the video.